Hello crafty cuties. Today you get to see my face for a moment. We are headed into the Dollar Tree. I have been asked to do another junk journal Dollar Tree challenge for the longest time. And if you have been on my channel for a while, you might remember that I did this probably three years ago. I am going to try to put that playlist down below so you can see what I did then. Um, and today we're just going to go in, go shopping. I'm going to give you some ideas and let you know kind of what my thinking process is when I am trying to get items in the Dollar Tree on a budget um, to create an entire junk journal. Now, of course, I'm going to be using basic supplies that I already have, like scissors and things at home, but you can also get these things at the Dollar Tree. So um, we're just gonna go in, shop around, and then um, I will go ahead and do a haul video on a, one of the next videos to show you everything and just really give you an idea of what I'm going to hopefully create. If you want to join along with me on this challenge, I would love for you to do so. This isn't going to be like an official challenge or anything where you have to get something done by a certain time, but I do hope to inspire you. And if you want to craft along with me, I'm going to have a series of videos where we will create the entire junk journal from the cover down to handmade ephemera that we can make with just really easy basic supplies like book pages. So come along, let's go shopping and see what we can find. All right, so we are going to start here in the office area. Look how cute these are. They're like little mini traveling notebooks. Let's see, are they filled with anything? Wow, they even come with two little notepads. Those are super cute. But probably not going to help us out today for this project, but I definitely got to grab two of these. Okay, so I want to start looking for some paper. Poster board will definitely work good if you need like a thick uh, cardboard or something like that if you want to make a hardcover, but at the same time you can always use the outsides of some of the paper pads. That works good for coffee dyeing. File folders are nice to have sometimes. I don't see any that I like. Definitely we'll get some envelopes. Great for easy pockets. They have craft paper here and different wrapping paper. I don't really see anything that I want today. This location doesn't have a ton of stickers, but stickers are really great for like embellishments and things. Um, but I don't really see too many that I like here. Okay, but here we are to greeting cards. Now I like to find the packs of greeting cards, which they usually have. I think I see them over here. I like these because you get about six cards and you get the envelopes and they're just the perfect size. You can use them like as journaling cards or as um, just a card in your journal, of course. Really liking the florals. I really like these roses, so I probably grabbed those, but this one is also so pretty. Now I love the sunflower, but I've used that one before. But of course, if you are looking for maybe a, a certain theme or a picture uh, for like a cover of a journal, you could look in these single greeting cards because there are just so many different ones. But I think I'm gonna try to go for maybe more of a fabric uh, type journal cover. So let's go see what we can find. So you might not really think to go to the gift wrapping area, but there's really so much that you can use over here for journals. Um, the bags are amazing for journal covers and a lot of times they have really cute prints. So this is really where it's at. If your Dollar Tree has a crafter square section, this is really going to be where I find the best um, 
stickers because they have stencils, but so many cute stickers. These butterfly ones have been really popular and they're really cute. They even have like vintage type stickers. Um, that one is really pretty. I haven't quite decided what theme I'm going for yet. So I sort of need to figure that out. Probably something just kind of basic like floral, I think would be great. These are really cool. But I'm not sure. They even have actual, oops, <laughs> floral stickers like this. Butterflies, those are really cute. I like the multicolored ones. Um, see, these are like really kind of vintage like. They have all of these laser cut wood words. They even have some stamps. Uh, those are really cute, but wouldn't really work for the journal, but I might get those for something else. So then we have yarn here too. Now this is gonna be great if you wanna do a tassel. And I just saw these ones right here. For a dollar, you would get three different colors. The bigger packs are nice if you need a lot of one color, but I like this because you would get several colors in one pack for a dollar. So most Dollar Trees do have a book section and there's so many different ways that you could make a journal cover using like the file folders or a thick cardboard. But I really like grabbing these books because it makes it just super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Um, there's a lot of different sizes as well, but I think the one that I got would be great. Table runners could be used for fabric. Pillow covers as well. You know, I've seen some Dollar Trees have all kinds of different fabrics, but if you head over to the dish towel section, you can sometimes find certain towels that would work well for a fabric, a fabric cover, but they also have the placemats as well and sometimes they'll have some really pretty prints that would work really well not really seeing anything I love today over here but it's always good to check different glues and stuff Different laces. This purple is really pretty. Even over here in the baby section, there are these blankets. And I mean, if you they're fleece blankets, but if you found a print that you really liked, that would work really great. I really think I'm going to challenge myself not to do a fabric cover this time because I did a Dollar Tree challenge uh, junk journal in the past and I did a fabric cover and so I want to try something different but oh these are so pretty too. These are infinity scarves so those would work great but you can also use fabric for like the pockets and things. So you can use things like calendars or some of their books to create ephemera. If you can find a book that has, you know, a theme that you like, you can totally create ephemera out of these cute little books. Like there's pictures in this one. This is like a children's book, which I thought was cute. But they also have like inspirational ones, but they have pretty um, pictures inside. You kind of have to think outside the box here a little bit, but just kind of go down every aisle and I promise you'll be able to find things to create something pretty. 
All right, guys, I am done. I got everything that I needed. Now, I went a little overboard and bought more than I needed because I just cannot figure out what type of a journal I want to make. So I'm gonna be honest there and just let you know that I think I spent $28, but I guarantee that I probably won't use half of the stuff. And then a few things I didn't buy are things that I already have from the Dollar Tree, like um, instant coffee, because I am going to definitely be doing some coffee dyeing for the um, plain white pages. And um, a few other things that I definitely already have, like glue at home uh, from the Dollar Tree. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this shopping video and in the next video or two on my channel I will definitely do a haul and show you everything that I got. So thank you so much for shopping and definitely if you want to join along with me be sure to be subscribed so that you will get a notification for all of my videos. Just be sure that you are signed up for all notifications down on the bell below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!